what's up guys and welcome to your Google Chrome extension tutorial number 25 I guess and by now you would be thinking whoa I have got documentation at developer.chrome.com so let's leave these boring old tutorials from Godam and I learn the chrome.storage.get myself and you happily visit this page right here scroll down a little bit see that yeah code damn taught me that and whoa what the heck is this you don't have any examples for for chrome.storage.get and when you see this thing you're like whoa get out of my way I'm out and here's when I come in so let's get back to the point and what we were learning in this tutorial was chrome.storage.get now get instead of set if you notice would allow you to get whatever value you stored inside that particular key so the syntax kinda confuses a lot of new developers but it's simple so right here um, let's say if I create another button input type button id get and I say value get saved line and right here if I set a event listener to this dot get element by id dot on click there should be a function a nice little function fired and what it should do is it should first of all connect to the chrome storage and it should get and what it should get is the value and the suspense here is that you don't enclose it as an object so this value right here stands for the value of your key and obviously we do have a callback function here which you could anonymously write as well so I'll just omit this for the time being and if you notice these two should be same so if I write my line and go back to my extension and play with it a little bit so let's say if I click on save line it says success and I say um, actually I'm not doing any alert here so what I'll do is I'll just alert this thing so now if I reload this save a line get save line uh, whoa there must be a typo here invocation of a form get string doesn't match the definition get optional string functional callback oh 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 stupid me this should be obviously in callback function data alert data whoa that was stupid so if I do get save line I get object object okay so I'd rather prefer it to console log to see what the heck is in that object so again let's reload this save a line get a line and check the console so in right here we got um, my line as a property to access the value so let's do it right away so let's say data dot my line and it has got our um, value we wanted so let's reload this again and get save line and you see we got sdf sdf and I have no idea what that means so let's give some meaningful line this is a cool video tutorial made by codedam alright I'll save this line it says success you see Fox okay so now um, let's say if I go to settings extensions and allow it incognito mode and launch incognito tab and open this 
and click on get save line so you see that this is a cool video tutorial made by code damp appears out of nowhere so if you do this thing right here with a kind of storing technique with javascript you would obviously encounter an error because javascript session is completely different in these two processes but since we are storing everything we wrote in that text area inside the chrome storage and obviously the chrome storage doesn't change with the incognito tab therefore we could get whatever we stored inside that using this little dirty trick right here in front of you so i hope you got this tutorial and got how to use chrome.storage and that's pretty much basics of chrome storage api to set and get the values and variables and you could do multiple values by just adding more and more keys to your set here set method and obviously you could get them as well so do whatever you like combine them with loops get some hot stuff ready and till then stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then